Dang it. What's the matter, Pee Wee? I'm modding weapons in Fallout 4 and I keep running out of stuff. Like what? Like adhesive and screws. Well, for screws, you can just get the scrapper perk and then you can dismantle some of your spare weapons for screws and other rare items. Oh. Okay. And what about adhesive? Well, don't you know how to build an adhesive farm? Uh, who the what? No? Where? How? When? Huh? An adhesive farm. It's easy. Just go to the cooking station in Sanctuary, which is on the south side just before the bridge, scroll down to Utility, and make some vegetable starch. The recipe is three corn, three mute fruit, three tato, and one purified water. Then you can take the vegetable starch, plunk it into your workshop, and it'll break down into five adhesive. Okay. And where do I get this so-called mutt fruit? Mute fruit. Whatever. Oh, you could just plant mute fruit, corn, and tato at your settlement in Sanctuary. Okay. Okay. Oh, and you have to build a water purifier. Okay. And there you go. That's how you build an adhesive farm. Thanks for watching. See you next video. What? Wait a minute. Hold up there, Slack. You're just going to give me the broad strokes on a complex operation like that and leave me high and dry? Sure, why not? It's what everyone else does. Slack, dude. That's very unslack. Huh. Yeah, you're right. That is very unslack. Okay, here we go. How to make an adhesive farm. Detailed step-by-step -step instructions. He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his it guns. Gets, uh... Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. All right, uh, let's learn how to farm some adhesive. And I'm just assuming that everybody's on the same page here where you've agreed to meet Preston Garvey here in Sanctuary. This will continue the When Freedom Calls mission. There we go, when freedom calls, all right? And um, check this out, look where Preston Garvey spawned on top of this house. <laughs> when I first saw this, I said, okay, I'm screwed. How the hell, this is a game breaker. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? But uh, since you can build stuff here with your settlement, I just thought, okay, let's build this, build some stairs. So here we go. Let's get the workshop happening. Structures, prefabs. Stairs. And let's just put some stairs right boom there. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Glitch! Glitch! I ain't bothered by no stinking glitch. Okay, it's up to see Preston Garvey. Hey, good to see you again. You talk to him and this completes the up. When Freedom Calls I mission. To Mama Murphy all along. Pretty it's nice place she's found for us. I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Okay, now I always say yes to this, just be a nice guy, and this will complete the When Freedom Calls mission. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. There you go. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. All right, now that's very important. This will kick off the settlement uh, tutorial mission, Sanctuary. Go find Sturgis and talk to him, so let's go do that. Here he is. You willing to do some work? Yeah, sure, why not? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. Okay, so this starts Sanctuary, basically the settlement tutorial mission. All right, so let's get building. We have to build five beds. Uh, how do you bring up the settlement workshop? You can do it two ways. You can go to the workshop, which is right here. First of all, let me just do a quick tour of town, okay? I already showed you where the uh, cooking station is. Um, This is highly likely the road you took to come into town. Okay, there's a bridge. Vault 111 is up there. You came in on this road. Turn to the left here. The second house on your left is your old house. All right, that's your house. Right across the street is what I call the workshop house. Workshop house has the workshop, the weapons workbench, a power armor station, and an armor workbench, all right? This is the big kuna right here, the workshop, all right? You can open up the workshop two ways. Just go up to it and press the appropriate button. That opens up the workshop. Or you can open up the workshop anywhere in the settlement area by just pressing, for me, it's left control. The game's gonna prompt you what to open. Just hold down and you open up the workshop, all right? Now, scrap. A lot of these houses are completely useless. You can just point at them and when they turn yellow, you get this, the, uh, the prompt to scrap. Press scrap and scrap the whole thing. So let's just like clean up 
you know, a lot of things around the settlement. We're going to make our garden back in this area here. So I'm going to want to get rid of all those picket fences. I want to get all the rid of all the scrap here. Maybe get rid of these picket fences here and just clear up the whole area. All right. So let's get to it. And you want to know how to quick scrap? Point to something, press the scrap button and press on the PC version. Okay. Press the scrap button and then press the interact button. You don't have to press enter. Just press the interact button. So you just like this is how you can really quickly scrap a lot of stuff. Okay. I used to find this really tedious until they discovered this trick. All right, so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go scrap a whole bunch of stuff, clean up the area. Done and done. Okay, so I cleared a whole path down to the, the cooking station. I've cleared out a huge garden area here. And I cleared out an area down by the stream. Okay, this is on the south side of Sanctuary. And I cleared out everything inside the workshop house. Okay, all of the spare junk furniture, the fridge. Uh, the only thing I left is this chair here because we can sit in that and wait. And um, even the bathroom, completely cleared it out, make some space here, cleared out this bedroom. Everything's been scrapped and we now have a crap ton of wood, it's steel, rubber and other like, you know, basic stuff, okay? So this is where we can put some beds. The cheapest beds you can make, we have to make five beds, okay? Let's just uh, do a little rundown on what's going on with the settlement. If running across the top of the screen there, you have all these uh, labels and numbers. This is basically basically the resources in your settlement right now. So right now we have five people. We have food for one person. We have water for zero person. We have zero power. We have zero defense and we have zero beds. We have to build at least five beds so these five people can sleep. And you can build any kind of bed you want. It's completely cosmetic. So let's go with uh, sleeping bags. They're your cheapest and I like to put them all together so I can keep track of my uh, my settlement um, people. Let's put one there. This is kind of finicky, so bear with me. Okay, so we got five beds. Not the neatest, but that's it. So we've completed that part of the uh, the sanctuary mission. Go talk to Sturgis and tell them the good news. Sturgis, dude, we did it. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Okay, I'm we're on it. it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Thanks again. Okay, now I think what they recommend in the game guide is to build some pumps. You don't have to do that. You can actually go straight down to the river and build something a little more uh, complex. And that is a water purifier. And this will give us a steady supply of what are the ingredients we need for our adhesive farm. And that is purified water. So to build a water purifier and to, and to keep it up and running, you need a generator and a water purifier. Depending on... Um, how much purified water you want to make. I usually just go for the medium generators. So let's just go here, power, generators, small generator, medium generator. You gotta put it near what you want to provide power for because you have to string a line from the generator to the thing you want to power. So let's plunk that down there, all right? 
Now let's go back to the basic uh, line of uh, things you can build here. Scroll on over to resources. Up. Now we have water. Up again. And we have a pump or water purifier. Or an industrial water purifier which will provide uh, much more purified water but it requires more power and you have to put a point into science. Let's just go for the regular water purifier. You just plunk it right in the water there, right near your generator, and that's it. Now we have to power it. So just point at the generator, and you'll see a prompt. See down at the bottom of the screen, it says space attach wire. So I press the space bar, attach wire, point at the water purifier, attach wire, and now my water purifier is powered. See? There we go. So now this thing is going to provide purified water over time. Where do you get it? Over at the workshop. Wait or sleep about 48 hours, then go to the workshop and you'll see purified water showing up at the appropriate list, at the appropriate spot in the list in alphabetic order, okay? So we don't have any yet, we have to wait some, all right? So that's that. So we have a source of water now. We've completed that part of the quest. Let's go back to Sturgis, tell him the good news. Sturgis, my man, we did pumps? it. We should keep moving. I feel want better to be already. Down when the raiders Knowing come. we have a reliable supply of clean water, I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. But our food supplies are running low. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. Okay, I'll start it. planting right away. Good deal. Okay, now here's the deal. This gets a little confusing, but I, like I said, I spent a lot of time um, researching and, and fooling around with this, the settlements today, and I pretty much got it down. Marcy, Nothing we have uh, one, two, three, four, scumbags. five people here. If you run into any, put a few down for me. Okay, she's cranky because the set, you know the settlement's happiness level is not all that great. Marcy Long, we have June Long, we have Sturgis, we have um, Mama Murphy and Preston Garvey. Those are our five settlers here, okay? Marcy Long is the one that's like assigned to the garden by default and there are three garden items already built here in Sanctuary, okay? Melon, Melon, and Gurd and she's assigned to those by default, alright? Now if you go up, open up your workshop, right? And you point at this and it says 0 0.5 or 1. Typically it's like this is the food count so either it'll say 0 0.5 or one. And for food, to provide enough food, we need to get the food count up to five. So you look up in the top left corner of the screen, you see our food count is one. So that's 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is one, and they guess they don't count the other 0 0.5, so they just round it off to one. So right now we're producing um, one food. We have to find, okay, go down to the bottom line of uh, things you can build here, okay? Go over to resources, go up, across the food and then go up again and these are the things that we have to plant any of these things here okay carrot corn gourd melon mute fruit razor grain or tato plant okay we have to find and plant those things now if you just want to complete this mission real quick what you could do is just simply harvest the melon harvest the melon harvest the gourd and replant them, wait 24 hours or 48 hours, uh, and rinse and repeat until you got your food count up to five. All right? But we don't want to do that. We want to plant specific crops, okay? We want to plant potato, we want to plant corn, and we want to plant mute fruit. These cannot be found in this area, all right? We're going to have to go out and find them. Where do you find all these things? Like I'm going to show you right now, all right? So, first of all, um, there's two places that you should go to. Actually, there's one place that will cover all your adhesive farm needs. And that place is Grey Garden. Grey Garden. I'll show you where it is on the map. I believe it's uh, in the official game guide. Its code is 3.04. It's a primary location. It's in zone 3. Indeed it is. I'm just looking on my map here. Grey Garden has everything you need. It has mute fruit, it has corn, and it has tato. But it doesn't have much of corn and much of tato. 
you can get a ton of potato over at another place called Abernathy Farms. All right. So we're going to visit these two places. I'm going to show you exactly how to find these places, and we're going to get the required things we need to plant in order to build our adhesive farm. Starting with Abernathy Farm. Abernathy Farm is if you look in the top left corner of your map, okay, and you see this body of water here, and kind of, there's this river or stream that kind of curls around, all right? Abernathy Farm is right there, all right? And the easiest way to find it is to simply fast travel to the Museum of Freedom. Okay, here we are at the Museum of Freedom. Shields up, Scotty. We're about to get into the party. Turn right. And let me put my pistol on. Head in a southwesterly direction. Find the power lines. All right. Turn right from the Museum of Freedom. Head southwest, find the power lines, and simply follow the power lines. That's it. Follow the power lines northwest. Not that way, that way. And you're running right into Abernathy Farm. It's that simple. That's the easiest way to find Abernathy Farm. Abernathy Farm has a crap ton of potato plants. There's 28 to be had there. Okay, so following the power lines. Yeah, here we go, Abernathy Farm. Go right up close to the structure to discover it. You discovered it, earn a little bit of XP, and here are all the tato plants. Harvest them all. There we go, 28 tato plants. All right, let's fast travel back to the Museum of Freedom and I'll show you how to find Grey Garden. At Grey Garden, you get all three food items that you need, mute fruit, corn, and tato in varying quantities, mostly mute fruit, some tato, and a few corn. Corn is going to be your bottleneck, but we can fix that. All right, back at the Museum of Freedom. I also waited till morning so we can make this trek in the daytime. It's a much more dangerous trek. So this is where you always spawn, just like that, facing the southeast. Um, show you the map exactly where Grey Garden is. Zoom out. Looking for this big bend in the river here, all right? At the big bend in the river, you see this little hook of a road right there. All right, just north of this big road here, I believe that's the elevated freeway, is Gray Garden. So I'm trying to put a waypoint here. There you go. Right about there. All right. So in relation to Concord and the Museum of Freedom, that's where it is. In relation to Sanctuary, that's where it is. All right, just above this big bend in the road, just above that. That's where we're going. Show you an easy way to find it. As you're facing the Museum of Freedom, turn right once again. Follow this road around as it hooks around to the southeast. The road hooks around. I'll show you on the map what we're doing. You see? This road here, we're going to follow this road all the way down to this junction right here, all right? Now I'll show you an easy landmark to find that junction. Go past the Drumlin Diner. This is part of another tutorial I'll do another time. You can go there and earn some XP and open up a trader. I'm not gonna do that now. Just keep following this road to the south. And eventually you come upon this big blue tanker here, the Wicked Shipping Tanker. That's your landmark, okay? Once you find the Wicked Shipping Tanker, go just a little beyond it, you find the train tracks. Now all I have to do is follow the train tracks. 
two things though. You might want to loot some ammo here. This is completely random, but there's always good ammo here. And you want to take some care of some enemies down there. Alright, I'm going to hook up my sniper rifle. I don't have a sniper rifle. Okay, normally I do. Yeah, let's get him excited. Laser rifle again. Who's next? Use vats to dispatch these wild mongrels easily. Who's that guy? Got one more. Pump this sucker up. Turn on vats. Alright, so continuing to follow the train tracks to the south. Alright, so you show you on the map where I am. And we're heading straight towards Grey Garden. Ignore this poor soul here, who's usually there, but <laughs> let's get to this point. Go off to the left. Don't continue down the tracks. Keep near the tracks, but don't go down the tracks because there's a booby trap there, right? You can set it off by just approaching closely. Once you get like a rad sign, back away and ba boom. Then, if you want, you can go in there, but it's really like irradiated, so you're gonna get a lot of rads exploring there. But there's some loot there. Now you can continue following the train tracks to the south. It'll go underground just for a little bit, but it'll pick up later on. There's the train tracks. Keep following, and eventually gonna run right into Grey Garden. It's going to be off to the left. The game will tell you. Ba boom. Grey Garden. There's the Grey Garden house. And there's Grey Garden. A hydroponic slash outdoor garden run by robots. And here's a whack ton of mute fruit. Just for the picking. You pick all these, they won't mind. There's also a couple of side quests you can do here for these guys. We're going to ignore that for now. Okay, so there's 12 mute fruit right there. I missed one. 12. Go into the greenhouse, there's two more mute fruit here. Mute, mute fruit planter. And there's also some more tato. Tato planters. And finally, some corn. From the corn planters. Two, Welcome three, to Grey Garden, darling. and four. This is the there you go. So now we have everything we need to create vegetable starch. But we want to go plant this stuff, okay? And I have one corn from before. No, I didn't, okay? We're just going to plant four corn. Alright, so let's go back to Sanctuary. Back in Sanctuary, let's plant some crops. Go around to Don't our pre-cleared area. She's Marcy Long has 1.5 crops under her control. Each worker or each settler can handle six food worth of crops. Okay, so each like crop has a like a food rating. Okay, you add up, add that up, do the math, and each settler can handle six of those. So let's start with corn and plant a little corn patch here with our corn and Marcy, since she's already assigned to this food, will automatically assign herself to any other food that we plant here. Alright, so open up the workshop. We've got it at food. Once again, running along the bottom here, you go over to resources, up to food, up to all the, the food that we can plant and you can see that we can now plant corn. Alright, so we can plant four of them. So let's put them right near her melons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two, 
three. And four. All right. So now our food count, you know, is up to three. If you look in the top left corner, it says food three. Because each of these corn is worth 0.5 food. So we planted four, so that adds two more onto the one that we already had. Now, if you keep your workshop open and you point at the stuff that you uh, planted, you'll see right below where it says requires on the right side of the screen here, the little Pip-Boy icon is green. That means that a worker has been assigned to these resources, okay? So if you point that, you have enough workers to take care of these resources. Marcy's already taken care of this, all right? Now, what you can do is, um, we'll take care of that later. We have enough corn for demonstrational purposes now. Let's plant uh, a mute fruit garden. What I like to do is keep them all separate. It's the way I like to do things, okay? So let's move on over to mute fruit. And we note that mute fruit, the food rating is one, not 0.5. So if we plant six of these, we're going to have to get another worker to take care of these. Marcy will be able to take care of hey, two of them. But let's just say we're going to give her some more corn to take care of later on. So we're going to get a whole new worker to take care of this mute fruit garden that we're going to plant now. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our mute fruit garden. All right. We could plan a lot more, but that, that's enough for now for demonstrational purposes, all right? So now, once again, if you point at these mute fruit, okay, you see below where it says requires, the little Pip-Boy pip icon is now red. That means that this particular mute fruit plant is not being assigned to any worker because we've maxed out the number of food that we can assign to one particular worker. So we have to get another worker to take care of, like assign another worker to the food so that we can bump up the amount of food we can take care of to 12 instead of six. All right, so if you like point that, point your workshop at the, all these guys, none of them are assigned to anybody except this one. Cause like I said, Marcy can take care of two more. Okay, so she could take care of two more so those two she's taken care of, but the other four are not assigned to anybody. So we have to find another guy and assign him to the food resources as well so that we can bump up our food to 12. Let's use this guy here, okay? So here's how you assign a worker to food. Open up your workshop menu, point at the person that you want to like tell what to do, and you see below at the bottom, bottom of the screen it says command. So I'm pre gonna press E for command. Now you just go over to what you want him to command him to do. Go over to a mute fruit plant that is not assigned to anybody. You can tell that because the pit boy is red and just press C at the bottom where it says E assign. Just press E or whatever that button is for you. And the game will assign that guy, June Long, to these resources. Now just look away and you look back and you see that now all these mute fruit plants are assigned because we bumped up our available um, food resources that can be take, taken care of by people to 12. All right, so he's in charge of those. So that's our mute fruit garden. Let's plant a potato garden. Once again, up to resources. And it's bad weather, so we're taking some rads here. So don't worry about that. Resources, food. Scroll on over to potato. And potato plants are 0.5. So if we sign another worker to this, we can get that worker to take care of a dozen potato plants. So let's plant a dozen potato plants right here. Here's six. I find this is the easiest way to plant, just back up. There we go. Now once again, point at these potato plants and you see the little pip boy below requires is red. That means they're not assigned to anybody because we no longer have enough people to take care of them. So now we have to go find another person and assign a third person to food. 
so that we can bump up the avail the amount of food that we can take care of to 18. And I'm just going to wait out this storm. Okay, it's a nice sunny day. We have Marcy and Jun Long assigned to our food resources. Let's find Sturgis. He can also work. Is this Sturgis? Sometimes these guys like. No, that's Jun Long. I'm sorry. I, I I wouldn't be very good company right now. One thing you could do is if you can't find anybody. A good trick is to go back to where you planted the beds, okay? Here's all the beds, right? And just wait till 2 o'clock in the morning. Everybody comes back to the beds to sleep at 2 in the morning. You know, or anytime, like overnight. So we'll just sit here and wait. It's a trick. Okay, it's now 2 in the morning, but this is just like Skyrim. They won't automatically be there sleeping necessarily. They'll be on their way back. See, there's there's Marcy coming back. Okay, so to get them quickly back into bed. <laughs> just wait another hour. It's just like Skyrim. There we go. And everybody is in bed. So now you can easily, you know, take roll call of who's available. All right, so there's... Sturgis, June Long has already been assigned to food resources. Marcy Long has already been assigned to resources. We have two available, Sturgis and Mama Murphy. Let's assign Sturgis. So we open up the workshop. Press E for command. You can assign them to work in the middle of the night. They won't mind. <laughs> You're allowed to be a slave driver. Go over to your tater plant uh, plantation and same thing. Point at a tato plant and press the appropriate button. For me, it's E to assign. You see at the bottom of the screen, it says assign. Look away and look back. And now you see that all these tato plants have been assigned. All right? So that's our whole garden taken care of. That's our, um, our adhesive farm garden. It's ready to rock and roll. It's up and running. We're a little short on corn, but we can take care of that very shortly. Now, how do you get food from this garden? easily you just go up and harvest it but it may not be ready yet so it's not ready yet I've experimented extensively and this is the procedure to get food to respawn at your plants at your garden all you have to do is a wait 24 hours you have to do it in this order too I've tried everything else I've tried the opposite anyways looks like wait 24 hours Okay, we've waited 24 hours and now just fast travel away and back. So we might as well go down to Grey Garden because the crops there will have respawned as well. Okay, so fast travel to Grey Garden. Okay, we got some bad weather here. If you're looking to trade, this didn't respawn yet. This did. The potato respond. The meat fruit outside didn't respond though. That's the, meat fruits. That's the, way. the corn respond. That's good. So let's collect everything in the greenhouse. Brown. Ready to hand over those mute fruits. Whatever you do, don't sell him mute fruit. He'll just give you two caps well for mute fruit. It's a complete garden, waste. Darling. Okay, so we were able to, to collect everything in the greenhouse outside. It's not ready yet for some reason. Oh, it is. Now it is. Okay. So collect everything up again. Ouch. <laughs> well, this is just super. We love to have visitors. Okay, so we collected all the mute fruit. Uh... And the corn and the potato at Grey Garden. Now let's fast travel back to our homestead. And everything should have respawned there. Let's go check it out. And indeed it has. So there you go. The corn is ready to pick. Yes, let's pick Seems the corn. Growing well. Corn. 
corn. Let's just go pick everything. Now, our corn patch is a little thin, and Marcy can take on a little more corn. She could take on uh, five more, and we have some corn to plant. So, let's bring up the workshop again. Resources, food, corn, and we have corn to plant. So we can plant five more and use five to um, to make some adhesive right away. Some some vegetable starts. Okay, so let's put one there, two, three, four, and five. All right. So that's nine corn plants. Ten. 11 and there's a melon plant here 12 these are all rated at 0.5 so that adds up to 6 so Marcy can handle all of those all right and if you point at all this corn that we just planted you see that none of the the pip boys are red because Marcy can handle all this corn okay so that's our corn garden full and we also have enough resources now because we've uh, been running around time has passed and if we go check the workshop we should have a supply of purified water now. Let's go to the workshop, press transfer, scroll on down. And there we go. The purified water maker has managed to make six purified water, which is, only, is plenty for our purposes now. So let's take all these. And now we can make some vegetable starch. All right, so how much we got on board now? We have uh, five corn. We're a little short on corn, but all we have to do is just uh, do the respawn trick and then we'll like, you know, get some more corn. Five corn, tons of mute fruit, and tons of tato. We're a little short on corn, but that'll, that'll rectify itself in time. Let's go make some vegetable starch. Help out or get lost over to the works or the cooking station down to utility and we can make one batch of vegetable starch we're a little short on corn like I said but we can fix that in a minute Vegetable starch is stored under junk. So there we go, we have one vegetable starch. And as you can see, it's worth five adhesive. Take that over to the workstation. Dump it in, and we now have five adhesive. That's it. That's pretty much the whole deal. You can like uh, modify that well, according to how much like you know you want to crank out. If you want more crops, or like more, if you want to harvest your crops again, simply rinse and repeat. Rinse, repeat. Do the exact same procedure. Let's just do it right now. Go here. You can either wait or sleep 24 hours. It probably makes more sense to sleep because you get a bonus. For demonstrational purposes, I'm waiting because I find sleeping is a little glitch. Sometimes the game will crash if you sleep. Okay, and that's that. It's not enough to sleep 24 hours. You have to fast travel away and fast travel back, so might as well go down to Grey Garden. We don't need Tato or Mute Fruit, but we could use some corn. See, it's all... Seems like it spawns inside first. Okay, so here Welcome we go. The corn is spawned. Garden, We're just gonna grab the corn because that's all we need. Caps for meat fruits. That's Three, the way. four corn. Fast travel back to sanctuary in our corner. There, our, our corn there will have respawned. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain. Here we go. Our corn has respawned. Well. Works every time. Wait 24 hours. Fast travel away and fast travel back. 
all your crops respawn. It's that easy. Grab your crops. Now they got a whole bunch of corn. Got a whole bunch of everything. Over to the cooking station. Utility. And now we can make five vegetable starch. Take the vegetable starch back to the workbench or the workshop. Over to junk. Pop those suckers in. And now we got more adhesive. You want to check out how many much adhesive you have? Go to the work, uh, the weapons bench. Try to mod something. Say, for example, light receiver. And there's your adhesive supply. 45 adhesive. Now, how much adhesive do you need? I mean, that's entirely up to you. And let's face it, you don't really need unlimited adhesive, all right? With the farm we constructed in this tutorial, we can harvest 13 corn, 15 tato, and 20 mute fruit every time we do a harvest, including what we can get from Grey Garden. All right, and now we'll make four batches of vegetable starch, which equals 20 adhesive. And it takes about, I'd say about two minutes to do the round trip. So we're making approximately 10 adhesive per minute. <laughs> now, of course, if that's not fast enough for you, you could tweak the configuration any way you like. For example, since corn here is the bottleneck, you could say not plant any tato at all at Sanctuary and plant 21 corn instead of 9. Then uh, you could include Abernathy Farm in your fast travel harvest run and you could collect 21 corn 31 tato and 20 mute fruit each round trip. At that point, the mute fruit would be your bottleneck. But that would equal six batches of vegetable starch instead of four, which would translate into 30 adhesive. Uh, but then you'd have to factor in the extra fast travel time to include Abernathy Farm in the run, plus extra crop collecting time, etc., etc. I leave that all to you to crunch the numbers, okay? Um, you could also build a recruitment beacon at Sanctuary to get more workers there and then, and then build a much bigger farm. Uh, the possibilities are endless and, you know, beyond the reasonable scope of this tutorial. But I hope you now have a firm grasp on all the procedures involved to set up an adhesive farm. Uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please give the old Slackster a thumbs up. Yeah. Alright, see you next video.